Hey everyone, Felipe here, welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new event card, Avid Fan Trio. Avid Fan Trio is a fire human card with a CD6 skill that has two effects where you can only choose one of them. For the first effect, you have turn light, dark, and heart runes into water, fire, earth respectively. And for all one round, if all runestones are dissolved in the first batch, the character's skill gets reduced by 3 and the character enters a hyper state for 3 rounds. For the second effect, you turn the opposite, where you turn water, fire, and earth into light, dark, and hard respectively. And you still get the same effect, where if you, all runestones are dissolved in the first batch, the character's skill gets reduced by 3 and the character enters a hyper state for 3 rounds. In my opinion, this effect is actually not that great. Uh, there is flexibility on for you to choose which conversion you want to have, whether you want to have fire, water, and earth on the board, or if you want to have light, dark, heart on the board. However, the hyper state for this character, just for its own character, is not that great, specifically because for meta uh, teams, usually the damage output comes from other cards, and this card eh, doesn't have any self attacking increases effects. So actually entering a hyper state will allow you to launch a little bit higher damage output with this card but not necessarily benefit the whole team as much since the hyper state is only 8 times 2 just for this card. Uh, in contrast if you have a card that can increase their attack by 4 for one round then you have a higher damage output for one round as opposed to this card. Granted this card gives you a buff for 3 rounds, but still I do think it is better to run other cards in the game that can boost the entire team or give you a higher burst damage instead. Uh, the skill CD-3 is going to be really nice, that means that you're going to be able to activate this skill uh, every 3 rounds, which coincides with the 3 rounds of hyper state. However, this, uh, uh, this requires you for you to dissolve all runes in the first batch, which sometimes is really hard to do. And more often than not, it is a really hard condition to achieve. Uh, and I do think that just for a single character hyper state, it might not be worth going through all this trouble. And you might as well just run a, another card that boosts your entire team and doesn't have such a, a strict condition. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this card. Please let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed out on anything. And as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!